welcome to the Ottawa Hospital. This video will explain what to expect when having a spinal anesthetic. A spinal may be an option for you for your upcoming surgery. That decision will be made on the day of surgery between you and your anesthesiologist. A spinal anesthetic is a technique used to numb the body from the waist down to block pain during surgery. It is often used instead of a general anesthetic where you are put to sleep for surgery. It is performed by injecting local anesthetic or freezing medication into the lower back. It can be used for nearly any surgery done below the waist and the freezing medication lasts for about one to three hours depending on the medication used. Depending on your medical conditions and the type of surgery that you are having, a spinal anesthetic may be a safer or more comfortable option for you. Before your surgery, you will meet the anesthesiologist. They will explain the procedure and answer any questions you may have about the spinal. Standard monitors such as the blood pressure cuff, heart rate, and oxygen monitors are used. An intravenous will be started, which will allow the anesthesiologist to give you medications if you need them. You will be seated on the edge of the bed. Your back will be uncovered and wiped with an antiseptic solution to reduce the chance of infection. The anesthesiologist will identify and mark the correct area. A small needle will be used to freeze the skin. A single dose of medication is injected in the area around the nerves and there is nothing remaining in your back after the procedure. It takes about 10 to 15 minutes and you will then lie down for your surgery. You may receive some medication to help you relax. Most people tolerate the spinal very well. You may feel a pinch or burning sensation when the freezing medication is injected. You may also feel discomfort or pins and needles. If this happens, try to remain still and tell your anesthesiologist exactly what you are feeling. It usually takes 5 to 10 minutes for the freezing to take full effect. Your skin will feel warm at first and then be numb to touch. You will feel weakness in your legs. Although you may feel pressure or movement during surgery, you will not experience any pain. Your anesthesiologist will confirm that the spinal is working well before surgery is started. There are some cases when a spinal is combined with a general anesthetic and you will be fully asleep. However, in most cases, you will not be asleep, but with medication, you should feel calm and relaxed throughout the surgery, and you may even have a light sleep. You may also choose to remain fully awake throughout the surgery. There are many benefits to a spinal anesthetic compared with a general anesthetic. The spinal provides excellent pain relief immediately after surgery. This means that you are likely to require less pain medication, which lowers the risk of side effects like sedation, confusion, nausea, vomiting, constipation, and itchiness. You can start drinking and eating more quickly after surgery as well. There is less effect on the lungs and breathing, and a lower risk of lung infection after surgery. There is also less risk of becoming confused after surgery, especially in older patients. People vary in how they interpret words and numbers. The following scale will give you an idea of the risks involved with this procedure. For example, a risk is considered very common if it happens to 1 in 10 people or, for example, to someone in your family. On the other hand, a risk is considered very rare if it happens to 1 in 100,000 people or, for example, to someone in a city. Very common side effects include a decrease in blood pressure, itchiness, and difficulty emptying the bladder until the freezing has worn off. Common side effects include the spinal not working well, in which case you may require general anesthetic, as well as a severe headache. Rarely, permanent nerve damage, an infection near the spinal cord, or a freezing medication overdose can occur, resulting in a seizure or very rarely death. It may take a few hours for you to get full feeling back into your lower body after the surgery. As the freezing medication wears off, you may experience tingling in the skin you will also slowly become more aware of pain. It will be important to start taking pain medication pills as soon as this happens before the pain becomes too obvious. A long-acting pain medication may be added to the spinal, which provides additional pain relief for up to 24 hours. You may be unsteady on your feet when the freezing first wears off. Please ask your nurse for assistance when first getting out of bed. Please feel free to watch this video again and to ask any questions you have during your appointment in the preoperative assessment unit. Thank you for watching.